evening. Good morning. It's a Friday, a Friday little stretch. So if you're not able to get to any of the classes, this one is a little freebie 15 minute stretch for you. So my cat's decided to get in the way again. She really does love the camera. Come on out the way, baby. Um, so I'm just going to do a little stretch for you, which is going to help you move your body around. You may want a little uh, pillow like this. A pillow uh, just helps you. Um, it's not really for comfort, but it is for raising you up a little bit, which means that the angle from your uh, hamstring is a little bit easier if you find that difficult. Go into a position, just a very loose, uh, comfortable stretch. So I'm, I'm just doing a very loose stretch here with my, my ankles. They're not sort of pulled right up into a cross-legged position. And if you raise your body up, it's a little bit easier to start with. So we're going to sit, simply just lengthen up, place the hand on the chest. And I want you to breathe into that hand and then Again, breathing to that hand. And again, not Pilates, just pure stretching. Release that breath in and relax it out. We'll just do that a couple more times, please. Just allowing the body to relax. And back down. Stay up tall. Lift and open. Imagine you have braces running from your shoulders to your hips. Now just tighten them up to your hips. Your body is in a lifted or elevated state. Take your hands down to the sides now, please. And we bring that right arm over and we start to lift. And we go to the other side. So a nice free range of movement. Sandra, morning to you. Morning to you. And coming down, reaching over to the other side. So now your hips are stay, they're static, they're on the floor, which means that you're getting more of a stretch than you normally do when you're standing up. So we're really just reaching from one side to the other and just going across, reaching up as much as we can. Can we take both arms forward now? Take both arms forward and then open them out through the chest. And again, can we take both arms forward? No flabby. And all the way out through the chest. She's my supervisor. Let the arms come forward. So this is what we don't need, but we need more of this. But quite often you need a reverse move to actually help you improve the way you feel behind you. Take the hands behind you, lift and open that chest now so we get the extension, stretch through the neck, and then come forward again. So a big range of movement, and fluffy, and then lift and open up. Hi Tracy, nice to see you, nice gentle stretch one today. <laughs> Do you an hour later on? I'm sorry, it's gonna have to be nine o'clock, I hope that's okay. Lift up, and Glenis, hi, nice to see you as well. Just allowing the body a little bit of a range of movement and this is what we need more of we need a, a more of opening the chest okay can we take a deep breath in can we reach forward now thank you very much and come up as tall as we can circle those arms back down nice range of movement if you have hurt yourself you're going to find that the body likes to be a bit tight, tighter just allow that body that range of movement nice and gentle if you move with force or with speed it slams on the brake sometimes just to uh, slow you down a bit because it's not sure that you know what you're in control of take a deep breath in come on. okay so we've done some lateral flexion which was this movement reaching over from side to side so those of you who are just catching up with us now this is what you want lateral flexion oh I hope that's a hover fly not a horse and then come back again and now I want you to just bring those arms out to the sides we go forward and we go backwards and we go down lift and up we come forward we reach through thank you very much come backwards and down hearts and thumbs up all mean a lot to me now I want you to swoop round with one arm over the top of the head and come all the way back. And we'll swoop a second and a third time. So just touching the back of your neck, feeling that range of movement. Hi Sue, nice to see you. Hope you're okay and having a good day. Wendy, uh, sorry, lovely to see you as well. Come up as well, reach us round as far as you can. So we're getting a little bit of range of movement. You always want to be able to touch the back of your neck. That's a functional movement reaching round, you always want to brush your hair, don't you? Okay. Now take the hands up to the sides, reach up as tall as we can, shoulders away from the ears and come back down. And if you are able to, can you stretch those legs out? I'm going to go a little bit to the side so you can see me. 
reaching up. So we've got two stretches here. We've got from the hips up to the top of the fingers, and we've got from the hips, and if we flex the feet, we've got them down to the toes. Lifting up, and then can you just bring the body forward? Don't try and put your head on there. Just relax and come back again. Bring your chest down if you're super supple, but if not, I don't want you to put your head on your knees. I want you to keep looking up. The movement is coming from the hips, reaching upwards, and we're lengthening the legs. If you can't feel it in your legs, please uh, contact me, message me or whatever afterwards, and I will help you get the better technique. Reaching over, reaching over as much as we can. Lovely. We've got one more, please. Reaching over. And coming back in time. Okay, we're going to bring one leg in, one leg in, and we're going to reach behind. Now we're going to reach forward and again reaching behind you don't try and get your chest down don't try and get your chest down if that's not for you then don't do it just yet it's better to get good technique and work your way down to getting that movement and then back over again so my cat is so rude to keep walking in front of the camera <laughs> now we've got one more so we're getting a little bit of length into that hamstring provided you're keeping that toe up okay let's change uh, Let's go onto the side now, onto this knee. Lift up, reach up through the knee. And then make that movement a little bit bigger. And then we lift up and we range through the knee. And we come back down and reach a bit more. But just take your time, just take your time. There's no rush. And come back down again. Lovely. Can we change the legs? Can we change the legs? One leg out, one leg in. Sitting up tall, because what we don't want is to lean back like this. We want to sit up tall, like we did at the start, reaching forward and just get that range of movement behind you. So we've got a little bit of rotational movement, a little bit of lengthening, and again, moving in and out of movements. Thank you very much, Jenny. You're loving it, loving it. Thank you. Nice to see you. Thank you for all your support, everybody. Lovely. Thank you. Thank you. Your support is so nice it feels sometimes like i'm just talking to a screen and nobody's listening so it's nice when people say something now bring that knee down if you feel you can and lift the hip up so we're getting right into the extensors here lift up and then come back all the way around again okay coming up lifting up and stretching all the way through coming through and reaching forward and coming again forward can we do that one more time so on this leg I'm definitely a lot more um, a lot more mobile than I was on the other leg so it means I have to work a bit better okay taking a breath in if you feel you can keep your hips you're sitting on a cushion remember I said at the start just sitting on a cushion keep the hips down lift up as far as you can and just this is stretching the hips the hands can come back down take a breath in and just bring that chest down and you're going to feel a little bit of restriction there just take it nice and easy pack a couple of deep breaths in and out mostly relax the shoulders the body's going to start to tense up because it's not sure what you're doing thank you loving everything i'm doing that's great lovely okay now as you feel more confident as your body starts to relax you can allow the body to go down a little bit lower and don't worry, however low you go, there's all sorts of things that affect um, flexibility. It can be in the, um, something that's passed down from generation to generation. It can be in your genes. It can be as a result of trauma. Let's change the legs over. So you're going to have a favoured leg for this. Put the unfavoured leg in. It's going to feel slightly different now. Come up again. And again, sit up tall and then just lean forward. Work in a pain-free range of movement. As I was saying, anything can affect um, flexibility. Um, if you, your lifestyle can affect it, your uh, genes can affect it, any trauma or degenerative disease can affect it. So you just do the best you got with what you got. Okay. And as your body starts to relax, you can use your hands just to give you a bit more confidence and just bend the elbows and just go as low as you feel you can. And you're going to get looser in that hip. Let's swing those legs around now. And we're going to go into um, a few movements now um, we're going to go from side to side actually so from this side just move the hips to one side and then to the other side just loosening off those hips nice and easy nothing very strenuous is it it's just nice movement just to get that body moving again lovely loosen off those hips where we stretch them for a beautiful day i hope you like my boy gili is not out for very long i try and make the most of it when i've got it out like this it's a lovely battle Let's 
swing those legs around. So um, if you're members, make sure you get on that Facebook page. There's lots of added extras for you. Um, it's a Facebook in Pilates, it's Facebook Pilates and Bridgewater group. Okay, we're on our hands and knees now. From there, when you tuck your tailbone under, feel that high arch. And look out through the chest and the tailbone. Dig your toes into the floor and tuck the toes back under as we go into that high arch. Toes under and let's look through. Lifting up as far as we can, just squeezing your shoulder blades back and down. The toes tuck under again. You can't see my toes actually, can you? Toes tuck under, so you've got the insteps on the floor and we go into that high arch. Try and make yourself as long as you can, otherwise, there's no length, there's nowhere for the body to go. Dig your toes into the floor now and we come into that high arch. Tuck your toes under again, find that true length through your body. So this is where your back is flat and not arched because you're using your shoulders. Keep your back flat. Look over the right shoulder at that right hip. Feel the stretch on the left, like a dog chasing its tail. And then let's come back to the centre and we go to the other side. So again, a bit more lateral flexion and come back again. And let's go again. And come back again. And let's go again. into the floor lift your hips up and press into your heels find that stretch if your knees need to bend that's fine come up on the toes come back on the heels come up on the toes come back on the heels we're going to do that just twice more again take your time down on the heels and we've got one more drop down onto your knees Okay, and from this position, I just want you to float the arm up. I love this one all the time, and we reach underneath. And again, take those hands up as high as you feel you can, and then come underneath. And then come up as much as you can, and come up underneath. back up, press the feet into the floor, lift up and you should be getting back into those hamstrings a little bit more now, really push back, up on the toes, down in the heels, up on the toes, down in the heels, up on the toes again and we're coming back all the way down and let's do the same the other side, shoulders away from the body, lift that chest, up comes the hand and it comes across the body, let the hand relax on the floor, let your body just relax and unspoiled, lift your pelvic floor up and do the same again, lifting up and then we come all the way underneath again. Have we got one more? I think we may have. Coming back up again, one more. And then lifting down again. Now we'll just come into a little bit of a back movement. So coming down onto your front here, onto your elbows. Lower yourself down comfortably and then bring your hands either side of your face so it's like a picture frame position. Lengthen your feet away and just raise your body up, feel that stretch. And then come back down again. And again, raise that body up, lift that stretch up as high as you can. And back down again. If you don't feel that you can go up very far, just go on your elbows and just raise your head as long as you are lengthening from your hips to the top of your head you are finding extension okay go down again oh, we come back up again we lengthen up so it's nearly the weekend how great is this so if you if this is recorded and you're watching it it's obviously not the weekend but maybe come back up again and we'll go up one more time my hands in the right stretching up to feel that way okay bring the bodies back up, push the hands into the floor, lift the stomach up, push your body away from the floor and sit back on your heels with your hands forward, with your hands forward. Now if you struggle with this what you can do is use the towel or a cushion or a ball here so that your bottom is slightly higher and you can still allow your big toes to be together, your knees are apart and your forehead on the floor.
deep breath in, bring your body back up again. Okay, we're coming on to all fours. We're going to stick our, take the um, towel away, um, the pillow away, sorry. Dig your toes into the floor and we'll just come around into a seated position. Sorry, seated position one more time. So this is where we started again, hands up. And we're just going to allow the shoulder. Hi, so Rachel, nice to see you. Take the shoulders up in front of the ears. Take them all the way back and lengthen them down your body. So I want the shoulder blades to come, the shoulder points to come forward by your ears. I want them to go up to the sky. I want them to go all the way behind you. Feel them opening your chest and down. We'll do that one more time. The shoulders come forward. The shoulders go up to the ears. They go all the way back and down and then they relax. Then we'll go the other way. The shoulders come behind us. We'll look, we've interfered with some ones there. Coming up and then relax forward and we'll do that one time. The shoulders go backwards. The shoulders go up. The shoulders come forward. And we just let the shoulders find that length all the way through. From the ears, let the shoulders sink down over your rib cage, sink down over your hips, and sink down to the spine. Just a couple of deep breaths now, breathing in and out through the nose. Feel that release of tension. Breathing in, calmness and relaxation, breathing out any tension that you've gathered or experienced this week. Let's do that twice more, breathing in and breathing out. lovely stretch for you and that you now feel a bit more re-energized if you find your center you find your grinding moment okay we're going to take ourselves back over and you're going to just bring your knees self onto your knees however you want to get up feel free if you want to just stay there a few minutes do that as well absolutely so if you want to push your hips up and you can come up into a standing position but i'm going to just say goodbye here all right so lovely day I um, hope you've enjoyed that little stretch. Thank you very much. <laughs>